This is a stick, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to make it fly. But that's pretty boring, I mean, come on. With our technology, we can make this much more difficult, scarier, and way, way more expensive. So let's see what we can do. And through the magic of laziness and editing, we now have a final product that fits all those categories. It's harder to fly, terrifying, and expensive. And of course, I threw in a little bit of awesome. Believe it or not, this sketchy thing actually flew on its first flight, although the terror factor was about 20 times higher. Hovering was just a distant dream. So after some tuning and a lot of screaming, I got it to a temporary hover, which is good enough for me because it is a flying stick. For the curious idiots out there, this thing was actually surprisingly easy to make. All you need is a stick, a hot glue gun, and a 3D printer. Okay, so let's get to the point. I literally found this piece of bamboo on the beach and decided on the spot that I was going to make it fly. I didn't purchase any parts for this, so I wound up with some really random parts. Like this old Maytech power distribution board. Honestly, can't remember the last time I used one of these things. For the flight controller, I used an Omnibus F4 Pro, which is way too nice for something that's stupid, but it's all I have that's compatible with iNav. I'll get to that in a minute. What took the most time was drilling out the inside of the bamboo in order to run wires all the way up the stick. Starting from the bottom, I hot glued a super simple motor mount. The flight controller has the extra outputs for thrust vectoring at the bottom, but I didn't wind up needing it. Moving up, I just shoved the ESC in a slit. Same for the PDB and flight controller. I just eyeballed the alignment of the flight controller with the top motor mount, and that seemed to work fine. I printed a cover to protect the boards and stuck the receiver in its own little slit. The top motor mount is just a ball and socket joint with a screw through it to stop the motor from twisting. I won't put the design on Thingiverse because all I did was take someone else's design and made it worse. The setup in iNav was pretty simple. I basically just screwed around with the mixer until the servos reacted how they should. Only the bottom motor is controlling y'all, which seems to be working fine because you really don't want to be turning with this thing. I don't even know where the front is when I'm holding it. I just increased PIDs until it didn't fall out of the sky and that's pretty much the extent of my tuning. So now I find myself with a flying stick made with a real stick that can barely hover and quickly turns from a flying stick into a falling spear. Maybe a bamboo quad would have worked better. Maybe next time.